Alright, so we had that same problem again. Uh, I ran out of uh, storage space, but we'll just we'll just keep pushing. Eventually, this full clear will be over. I don't think anybody's enjoying this as much as we intended. Because now we are several hours into this 45 minute ordeal. Uh, either which way, there you go. He's drunk, 762. And I think that's the highest number we've ever seen. So uh, we're going to heal up real quick, full clear this area, and hopefully we can finish this up pretty quick. Um, I'm excited for the four knights run. It's a true challenge run, and I think it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, and we're still on the same day. Okay. So let's go ahead and just get everything reset. There we go. So first thing we want to do is fully buff up. Always the very first move. There we go. And now, cast a few Armageddons. Nothing here is uh, magic immune, fortunately. So after just a couple of Armageddons, everything will be dead. Clear out a couple of dungeons in the area, and that's GG. It's that easy. And the very last one. Perfect. Nothing could have possibly survived that, and I'm okay with that. So we have a couple here. Uh, Warlord's Fortress, Silver Helm Outpost. Uh, another one will be terribly hard. And we have one dungeon that's one of my favorite dungeons, just because it's very different, but not overly complicated. Also, about a thousand-ish gold. We never want to pass up gold. Uh, I don't think six million gold will be enough, but maybe six thousand, uh, six million with the extra thousand would be enough. So hit the monolith. Super easy. And uh, nothing in here is hard. It's a neat dungeon. Ah, there it is. 5,000 gold from the little tree there. Super quick, super easy, and every tree should give you a pretty significant amount of gold, which is always just nice. It's just interesting. I think it's cool. More of these guys. When you don't like them. Ah, that was not intentional. Uh, this way. Nope, nope. This, this way. Yeah, we keep on moving. There we go. Yep, that's the one. Last room. Just destroy all these monsters real fast. And uh, that's pretty much the dungeon. Some gold with a little bit of loot. Uh, not a ton, but just enough. That scroll doesn't say anything terribly important. It just a little bit of backstory on why this exists and 
all that noise. Uh, nothing over here. Touch the nice flower. And that's the dungeon. Perfect. So the next one is the Warlord's Fortress. It's vaguely in this direction. that direction. There we go. Uh, after this we have Craig Spire, which won't be fun, and a couple of optional dungeons, but nothing nothing too too bad. Craig Spire is the least annoying of all the dungeons, uh, of all the castles that is. Doesn't look like we ever actually came in here though. Very strange. I imagine there's probably just simply no reason to come in here. Any dungeon that doesn't have any quests attached to it uh, typically will just get overlooked. do end up finding something neat in here. It's just kind of uh, a bonus, really. And yeah, not so much so far. Easy experience, but that's pretty much all this is good for. Weird. The map is showing that there's something there, but I have no idea what it is. And it's probably just lore right there. Yeah, that's just, that's just a little bit of lore. Nothing important. It looks like we had a couple monsters spill out. Don't want that. I uh, missed. No, missed it again. Weird. Okay. Some light puzzle elements that we have to figure out. Because I don't know this area that well. Uh, we'll figure it out pretty quick though. Unless it's not relevant. I remember him. Um, I think we already gave him the onk. Oh well. I don't know. I still hear the sounds of enemies though. Strange. Oh, there they are. Hmm, wasn't it? 
There we go. And the server's done. There might have been a knock in here at some point, but we might have already found it. So I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Uh one more dungeon, then we're gonna move to Craigspire. And Craigspire It's got three dungeons, two of which are pretty quick and easy. And one of them is going to be a small struggle, but not bad. I can never remember this one. It's supposed to be a maze, but we have the map, so it's not bad. In here, um, we. I think this will be the first time you run into Quiznots or whatever they're called. It's um the Death Knights. They're not the easiest thing, but they're. Far from being hard, even for you know an appropriate level party. I think that was just a Doom Knight. Not even it was a Death Knight. It's the easiest type of that brand of enemy. There's a Doom Knight. Weird. Not even any quiz knots. There's a little. Ah, there's one. They have the fear effect, but. You know. I don't know why we should be afraid of them. They should be afraid of us. I think we need the keys, but I don't know where the keys are. Yeah, no keys in there either. Just a bunch of gold. I'll take that. But not much else besides the gold. If we, if we did come in here at some point already, I'd like to know when that happened. Not much there. promotion quest in here at some point. Ah, okay. Found the first key. But now I have to find the second one. Ah, don't know where the second one would be. The dungeon is showing clear though, which is strange. I don't think it is. And locked. It's likely just over here somewhere. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, so that's probably actually clearing the dungeon. Uh, the last room is some type of a treasure room. A secret. Oh, it's not a secret. There's nothing in there. 
We'll open it up just to see. Yeah, just some type of treasure room. place on this map. Oh, I forgot about white cap. Well, white cap is not bad. There's two, maybe a third dungeon. So I'm getting some quick sprays and we're done. Last one's right over here somewhere. There we go. No, that's that's where we just were. Uh, I I could be just drawing a blank, but oh. Uh, actually, I think we might be done with this area. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, why cap it is? So I think we're out of Armageddon's. Right. So let's elapse a day at an inn or something that we can find. Come right back and clear this place out. If I can remember where the inn is. They have an inn. Yep, there it is. There we go. It's going to take a second. There we go. Our power, Day of the Gods, and we move Guinevere back over. A few more Armageddon's for good measure. So everything on this map uh, has approximately a 0% chance of still being alive, and there are two dungeons. Both of them pretty easy. First one we're going to do is... I think it's the one where you find the dragon tower keys. I don't know what else it would be for, but that's the first one. Icewind Keep, that's it. Super quick, super easy. Very mild puzzle element, so you just have to open that door, but it's as simple as two switches, a few rooms, and that's pretty much it. You could probably do this at level... Uh, pretty low one. 20, maybe, maybe less. Uh, from its a journal. I don't know what that says, but it won't be important.
As long as we don't get poisoned, this should be a quick in and out type of deal, and we can move on. Uh, wrong door. <coughs> so that opens the first door, but now there's a second door behind that first one. Uh, normally, this would be a pretty challenging fight, but we're just going to kind of ignore it for a second. We'll get to it in due time. One more room, and then we just spray the rest of it and move on to, I think it's called the Shadow Guild or something. I don't wish I could remember the names of every place in the game. I just know their relevancy. Uh, this place has the Dragon Tower keys, and it's very relevant. But then, uh, like the Shadow Guild, or whatever it's called, I don't remember. It's not, it's not very relevant. It's pretty much an optional dungeon. But I think, uh, if you were to go in there, and there should be nothing else here. If you were to go in there, uh, it will give you a hint to find the Prince of Thieves, and that's practically all it's good for. We don't need that, do we? We do not need that. There we go, and we just leave. Quick in and out. And the next one is in this direction. To the best of my memory, it's a little more complex, but not very bad. All the harpies in Magyar are dead. Right here. Looks like we did come in here at some point. Shadow Guild, that's it. Now I don't worry about all the traps. Thieves and burglars, they have a couple of effects that, uh, could be rough to deal with because they can steal things uh, if they hit you. And the assassins, the highest level of uh, the, those, these, uh, that guy, they can insta kill you, and that's not fun. But I don't feel like that's going to happen, especially at the rate we're killing them. Nothing in this room. Maybe a few more things. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the whole dungeon. Yeah. 
I think that's the whole dungeon. Well, I don't remember how to cross this. Yeah, it's still showing green, so we're done here. And we travel to the east. wrong. <coughs> uh, we're going to go Blackshire and go north. It's the same thing. Okay. Day production. Guinevere. There we go. So there are three dungeons here and two of them are optional. So we're going to do those first. Uh, there's also this well right here that we've used a thousand times, but we're not going to be using it this time. Uh, whenever you use it, it summons four drakes, meaning 16 total per uh, round of use. Four times four. Oh, I forgot about this one. Ah, right, we don't have the cape, so because we don't have the cape, we can't go in there. Um, in the same way the challenge was already broken because we already completed a quest, it's the same thing. That's why I have listed three. There should be pretty much nothing over here. Okay, there's nothing here. Meaning Agar's Laboratory is the first one. Uh, this is totally optional. There's nothing in here that you need to deal with. But if you wanted to come in here, it probably gives you some kind of lore or something. Yep, there it is. This is where Mad Eyes were created. Mad Eyes and uh, the Agar's Monsters. And by the looks of it, we have not come in here before. Yeah. You guys already remember how much I love those guys. Yeah, it's pretty much the same over here. There we go. Elevator. If we were doing this normally, I think it might be a fairly difficult challenge. But the way that we're going about this, it's not. Just like our everyday protection. B 
because all a lot of our enchantments are lumped in together, one uh, debuff carries a lot of weight here. Very linear, no true puzzle elements. <laughs> this place is pretty easy. Yeah. Ah, uh, there is an agar. Actually, it turned out that he created Minotaurs too. And we might have just found a best in slot ring. Um, Work that in somewhere. It's a very small upgrade, but it is an upgrade, so I'll take it. Oh, yeah, that wasn't intentional. There we go. Okay, let's uh get a divine inner. First and foremost, cure that insanity, and then we can work on the weaknesses, and then we can continue. get through this I promise there we go uh, so up here there's one more dungeon and this whole area is practically unused um, Eggar's laboratory and the cavern of the dragon riders or whatever it's called there's nothing in there that you need they're high level dungeons that could potentially be relevant, but they just kind of aren't. Uh, that and the obelisk. That's pretty much all there is to see over here. Next. This place is pretty simple. I uh, go through a few wings, kill a few wings, and that's it. Unfortunately, we can't uh, Armageddon this whole place and make it super, super fast, but if you were a regular adventuring party and not level you know, 200 and whatever, 
This place would absolutely be worth coming through. Just for all the loot. It's a green potion, we want that. It's just some dragons. Dragons, some death knights, and that's that's pretty much it. Took a lot of damage there, but we'll survive. There you go. This section is done. be fantastic loot if we were 200 levels lower. Alright, no telekinesis. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. One more wing and we're done. Five blasters make this just a little bit too easy sometimes. Once again, fantastic loot if we weren't level 200 and whatever. 240 with level ups available. Poison resist is like mildly interesting. It's just not that good. My inventory is getting really full. Two more areas that were done. Project. 
The Doom Knights are harder than the Dragons. Serious done though. Hey, that's that would be a fantastic ring if we did. Our, wow, it's amazing. It'd be a fantastic ring if we didn't basic. Well, if we didn't already have that, it's a great item. But we already have that uh, maxed out, so I'm not worried about it. If it's just simply worth more than the one we already have on somebody, I might trade it out. But outside of that, there's just no reason to. A few, a few enemies still around. The next dungeon is practically not a dungeon, though. For a low-level party, this place is brutal. For us, it's nothing. Come in here, because of Cavaliers or something, and call that a day. Let's go spell Elementals, kill some Minotaurs, and I think I might be calling that for the day. I'm, uh, I'm pretty tired. I don't think there's a yeah, there's nothing over here. So now we just kill some Minotaurs and we're done. I imagine if you were to do this as prescribed, it could be a challenge. But given all the circumstances that we're in, it's really not hard in any type of way. Also, Master Archery is here, but that's pretty much entirely irrelevant as soon as you get blasters. There you go. It's that easy. Oh, we're gonna make a little bit of headway in here. Uh, this place is big. Not terribly complex. Just big. That's the final door. Yeah, okay. That's that's as much headway as I'm gonna make today. Uh we're gonna pick back up here after I get a little bit of sleep. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right.